As the new year begins, let's take a look at what's ahead for the European Space Agency in 2026. Early in the year, ESA astronaut Sophie Adenau will launch to the International Space Station for her first space mission, Epsilon. During her mission, Sophie will carry out scientific research, test new technologies, and support long-duration exploration in microgravity. Europe's navigation capabilities take a step forward as the first Galileo second-generation satellites enter the final phase of system testing. This new generation is designed to deliver higher accuracy and improved resilience. At the same time, the first satellites of the Celeste constellation will lift off from New Zealand, beginning tests of a future low-Earth orbit navigation system designed to complement Galileo. Artemis II will be the first crewed mission of NASA's Artemis program, carrying astronauts on a journey around the Moon. For 10 days, four astronauts will fly aboard the Orion spacecraft, powered in deep space by the European Service Module, which provides propulsion, electricity and life support resources for the crew. They will travel past the far side of the Moon and return to Earth, marking the first time humans have ventured beyond low Earth orbit in more than 50 years. The SMILE mission will launch on Vega C to study how activity from the Sun affects Earth. Using X-ray and UV cameras, SMILE will show how streams of charged particles from the Sun interact with Earth's magnetic shield. Its discoveries will improve our understanding of the solar wind and space weather, helping protect satellites, astronauts in orbit, and critical infrastructure here on Earth. Euclid will deliver new datasets. First, a detailed view of the Milky Way's inner bulge region, and later, the first wide area survey of the universe. By mapping how billions of galaxies are arranged across space and time, Euclid will shed light on two cosmic mysteries, dark matter and dark energy. The Plato mission is undergoing final tests and is on track to launch on Ariane 6. Once in space, its 26 precision cameras will observe more than 150,000 stars simultaneously, searching for Earth-like planets around Sun-like stars. By measuring tiny changes in starlight, Plato will not only discover new worlds, but also reveal how stars work on the inside. Ariane 64, the heavy lift version of Ariane 6, will make its first flight, capable of carrying more than 20 tons into low Earth orbit. Standing over 60 meters tall and powered by four solid boosters, it will double performance to low Earth orbit, increasing flexibility and European launch capability. In August, a total solar eclipse will be visible across Europe for the first time since 1999. Parts of Greenland, Iceland and Spain will be plunged into darkness for over two minutes, while much of Europe will see a partial eclipse. ESA will host public and educational events across Europe, bringing people together to experience the eclipse with experts and discover how it's seen from both the ground and from space through ESA's missions. For Earth observation, FLEX will launch to study global plant health by detecting the faint fluorescence plants emit during photosynthesis. This will give us insights into plant stress and how photosynthesis affects the carbon and water cycles. The third Copernicus Sentinel-3 satellite, launched on the same rocket, will continue measuring Earth's oceans, land, ice and atmosphere on a global scale. After a long journey, HERA will finally arrive at Dimorphos, the first satellite to have had its orbit changed by humankind, following a collision with NASA's DART mission. To reach it, HERA will perform its second deep space maneuver to precisely line itself up. Once in position, HERA will closely study the impact crater DART left on Dimorphos, probe the asteroid's interior, and help us learn how to better protect Earth in the future. In 2026, ESA will move forward with European resilience from space, strengthening Europe's security and crisis response. 
Work will begin on accelerating Earth observation services, preparing navigation systems and evolving secure connectivity in close cooperation with the European Union and defence partners. After eight years of interplanetary travel, Beppe Colombo will finally reach Mercury. Its two spacecraft will separate and enter orbit to begin their main science mission. Together, they will study Mercury's surface, interior and extreme magnetic environment in unprecedented detail. In 2026, ESA will continue to deepen its international partnerships, ensuring Europe remains a leading and trusted partner in global space exploration. From Earth to the farthest reaches of the solar system, 2026 marks a year of first continuing to shape the future of space.